Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I wasn't as satisfied with the bouquet that I did in my last video, so I put a little bit more planning into it, um, and I'm going to show you how I did that and how it turned out. So let's do it. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors, and my Princeton snap brush in a size 12. And I also have my paper towel and my water, and I'm ready to go. So if any of you saw my Instagram post about my last video, my fall um, watercolor bouquet, you'll know that I wasn't exactly thrilled with the outcome and I wanted to give it another go. So this time what I decided to do was I decided to scan my pieces of my individual flowers from the fall watercolor tutorial of each individual flower. Um, and then I just edited it and duplicated it and I brought it over to Procreate and I created a different bouquet. One that I feel like looks a bit better and has a better flow. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and recreate this by painting it straight to my paper. So I went in a bit, bit of a different direction with this. I started in the middle and kind of worked my way out when the last one I went more of like a corner down vibe. But we're gonna try this and we're just gonna see how it looks. So unfortunately I can't get that picture in the shot while I'm painting. Um, I just don't have enough room, but Let's just see how this works out. So I'm gonna create that purple color again. If you need a little refresher, it is dioxazine purple and cadmium red deep. Yeah. With a bit of hooker's green dark. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my flower. Um, and it's gonna be, I have the purple flower, the pink one, and then the orange. So kind of in a upside down triangle. So I'm just gonna try and recreate this flower by doing a C curve and closing it, doing another curve. I'm also gonna see if I can try and not do as many color bleeds. Just let's see how it goes. <laughs> I do want it nice and dark. Okay, I'm gonna take my green. So I gotta make that green again, which is sap green. And cadmium orange. Yes, I just did mix green to the orange. It's all good. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So I'm gonna take my green and I do like the color bleed when I do this one, so I'm gonna let it bleed a little. I'm also gonna try and slow down this time. I feel like when I do my tutorials, I have to kind of rush so it's not too long and I'm not boring you, but I'm gonna try and take my time and just slow down. Okay, there we go. Like that, just gonna add some little pieces. Okay, there we go. There's my purple flower. Now I'm going to move on to that pink one. So it was like a rosy, like rusty pink. So I'm gonna take some of my permanent rose. I couldn't remember what it was called. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of green. And I'm going to Do my swirly lines with the tip of my brush over here. And then I'm gonna go back in the middle 
make some thicker parts and then on the outer bit. I always get so nervous because it turns out so different every time. And the way you did a flower one time will look different another time. And you just like hope that you can recreate things <laughs> without totally messing it up. But we'll see. We will see how this goes. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna do that orange flower. So start with some yellow. So yellow ochre and some cadmium yellow. And I'm gonna do my swirly middle. Now I don't really like the way that this purple is bleeding into the green. I'm gonna try and put more green in here. We'll see if that helps at all. Probably not. Okay, keep going with this. Okay. That. I'm gonna take some of that orange, a bit of cadmium red, go around the edges. I'm really trying not to do it, like overdo it with the color bleeds. Because that was one thing I wasn't too fond of last time. But it's really hard because I'm just used to doing that all the time. I don't know. Sometimes it can get out of control. Okay. Now this is bleeding quite a bit into there, so I'm actually gonna mop this up with my paper towel, take it straight up, go back over it with this color, just wet it up. And that's so gonna create a bloom, but it's okay. I'm trying just to be careful with it. Okay. There. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. There we go. We have our three flowers in the middle. Um, I did put a smaller flower down here, but what I think I might do is I might do another one of these kind of, but facing sideways just a little. So just kind of more of like a bud. See if I like that better. Like that. Okay. Okay. Now it is time for some greenery. I'm just gonna mop some of that up a bit. Okay. Greenery, greenery, greenery. This can either make it or break it. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna do some of the small little buds and stuff first. I want a little bit of time for this stuff to dry so it doesn't bleed too much. So I'm gonna do a couple of berries up here. You can always do this with a smaller brush if you need to. water in there so I'm just mopping it up a bit and I'm adding some darker color okay I'm actually gonna use a smaller brush for this part I'm gonna take some green Do the little bits underneath the berries like that. Okay. Actually, I think I want that a little bit darker, those berries. Yeah, 
Okay. Um, might do one of those brown kind of wheat things. So I'm taking my burnt umber. Maybe I'll do another one too. Just a small one here. That. Okay. And then, okay, see, I don't like the way that this bled into that. Hmm. Okay, that one's not as bad, but I'm just gonna... See, sometimes things happen. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go over this a bit. So some of those blooms happen when a flower starts to dry and it's right beside a really, really wet flower. So you're gonna get these kind of weird bloom marks in case you didn't know. And it happens to me all the time. Okay, now I'm gonna try those little buds. With the orange tips. So I'm just gonna do a green bud. I'm gonna do a bigger one. They're supposed to be like yellow. That cadmium red at the top. Actually, I wanted this one more green. Nah, it's all good. Okay, and then I'm going to take some green. Go underneath. that okay okay do a few more buds in those kind of wheat looking things and then I'll do the bigger leaves buds over here. Oops, that was pink. I meant red. <laughs> so if you're wondering, I'm using a size 4 brush for this. some greenery underneath those maybe with a couple of leaves like that okay so it's looking pretty heavy up here right now so now it's time to add some more greenery so I sincerely apologize for this next bit. I did not know I was out of frame, but you didn't miss much. I just did a few simple green leaves at the bottom, and then I mixed some darker green using Hooker's Green Dark and Dioxazine Purple to make this darker leaf, which I will do above so you can see how I did that. Okay. Like that going to do one up here. I'm just going to try and go behind those buds, those berries. 
I don't want them to bleed into this. I want them to stay on their own. It bled a little. It's all good. Like that. Okay. And then maybe one more over here. A little smaller though. Okay. And then I'm going to do some eucalyptus leaves. Oh, this is already looking a lot better than my first attempt. Okay. See what happens when you plan? Huh. Okay. Now I'm going to do a, a light wash so I can get those light eucalyptus leaves. And I don't mind if the leaves blend or like bleed together. I'm just going to do some really light ones to just fill up this space down here, but without overbearing it with lots and lots of color. Okay, and I might take some burnt umber and just put it in some of the stems of these little eucalyptus. Okay, do we think we're done or do we need to add one of these darker leaves here? feel like we do. Oh gosh, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> I'm going to let it bleed into this eucalyptus. I don't know if I like it anyway. Okay. Mm, did I ruin it? Possibly. Could overlap it once it dries. Might do that. We'll come back to it and see. But I feel like this is already a lot better than my last attempt, guys. So I don't know. How do you feel? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this, of my redo with planning. Do you think it went better, worse, same? just a different you know style this one is a lot more a lot less loose I guess just filling up with some lighter colored leaves just to fill it up a bit but yeah I might go over that part a bit when it's dry but that's about it okay so that's here's the original one of it cut and paste together. And this is, here, let's see. There we go. I think the planning helped. So yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think it went better, worse? Just tell me your thoughts. Okay, so just noticing quickly as it's dried, I didn't like that bleed there. So I'm just gonna make this, I'm gonna go over the whole petal here because I didn't like how it was so jagged and it's just going to be in front of that. Hmm, I might have to add some greenery there then. Okay, hold on. I didn't like that bleed. This part's dry now so I'm just going to go in with some darker green again to just darken this leaf up here. Okay, a 
Okay, just wanna show you that I did add a few things once it dried completely. I felt like it was lacking a bit of greenery over here, so I did some really light ones, and then I did more of those like little wheat sprigs too. And that's about it. Now I think it's done. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Say bye.